outside, always looking in. Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass and I'm waving through a window. I try to speak, but nobody can hear. So I wait and run for an answer to a while I'm watch, watch, watching numbers pass and I'm waving through a window Can anybody see? Is anybody waving back at me? Son, we zeros can be significant too. We just need to be in the right place. Right place? Exactly! If a measurement is less than one Zeros at the right of one are significant peaks for fun. But zeros at the left of one are suddenly unborn. If a measurement is whole, then zeros and bits by counting numbers are cool. Likewise, if they are on the right of the point, all the bits with the So I can be significant after all. I just need to be in the right place. The application of significant numbers in operations. In adding and subtracting digits following the rules of significant numbers, the least number of decimal place in the equation is equal to the sum or difference, and the rules for rounding should be applied. For example, 1.42 plus 1.005 is equal to 2.425. But, following the rules of significant figures, it must be rounded up to 2.43. Similarly, 2.023 minus 1.12 is equal to 0 0.903. Also, following the rules of significant figures, it must be rounded down to 0 0.90. While in operations involving multiplication and division, the least number of significant numbers in the equation must be equal to the product or quotient. For example, 64 divided by 3.32 is equal to 19.27, but must be rounded down to 19. Similarly, if we multiply 0 0.1243 and 1.43, the answer would be 0 0.177749, but must be rounded up to 0 0.178. Once upon a time, in Matlandia, a millionaire encountered his crisis. He has so many zeros that he cannot possibly fit into his ride. Cutting his zeros will diminish his value, and he has no cars that can hold much more digits. Luckily, there is a solution to his problem. Scientific notation allows us to converse numbers that are too large or too small. For example, 9,000 meters To express extremes into condensed forms It's a deviation from the norm A number more than or equal to 1 but is less than 10 Multiplied with 10 base 2 is a perfect exponent Thanks to scientific notation our millionaire can now ride safely. Or he can just buy a limousine. What a wonderful day to be alive. The weather is very nice day. It's so fun being an arrow. Every time, every single moment, I get flung across the fields and fly across the air. 
there's just one problem. I can formulate a definite technique that would make me hit my aim accurately. Moving too much in any direction may lead to not hitting the target at all. It's just so sad. Why am I always precise to one point at a target but I can see to be accurate? Excuse me, if I may, before we go to his drama about his happy yet problematic life, let us first define and identify the difference between accuracy and precision, just so we are all on the same page. Accuracy refers to the closeness of a measured value to a standard or known value. On the other hand, precision refers to the closeness of two or more measurements to each other. Now that's out of the way, let's continue with Mr. Arrow. No! Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? I am your long lost twin brother. The world needs you. You are a hero. I don't even know who I am. I don't think I matter anymore. You are an atom, just like me. We atoms are indivisible building blocks of matter, and every matter is composed by us. So you and I matter in this world. Without us, there will be no things like you see around. We are identical in size, mass, and chemical properties. But you are the chosen one to save the universe. But why not him? He looks cool. No, no, no. It is only you that is chosen. Look at him. He's smaller in size compared to you. You and that guy are not the same atom. So he's not identical with you, neither I. Atoms of different elements vary in size and mass. So what now? How can I be back from being a hero again? That's why oxygen atom is here. You need to combine with him in order for you to gain your powers back. But what if I'll be like oxygen atom during the reaction when we combine? Don't worry, a chemical reaction will only result in the arrangement of atoms. You'll not be changed to another atom. Okay, in a count of three, two, one... Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure about that? Well, everything I've told you came from Dalton. I am indivisible. I am iron atom.